Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in the episode 38 of AppSkin Tuesday. And today we have special guests, more than one guest. I have the pleasure of having Pasquale and Fernando from Cuatro Hi. M. Yes. Hi. 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 Hi guys. Hi Aiden. And Cuatro M is a business partner of HCL and they offer services to help DevOps organi organization that practice DevOps to introduce security into the DevOps, making it Sec DevOps or DevSecOps. Uh, Pasquale, I want to, yeah. for you first, you're the big boss here, to let us know about the company yeah. and, and what you guys are offering. Okay. <laughs> yes, briefly. Uh, first of all, I am, uh, thank you, uh, Ethan, for this uh, opportunity to talk uh, to talk on this uh, session. Sure. Um, as a Quattroema Consulting is um, an HCL part business partner, and uh, we design system architecture uh, to create customized solution according to specific needs of our uh, of our customer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, specifically, um, uh, the cyber security is uh, one of the um, specialization uh, areas that we that we implemented uh, and uh, we support in this area our customer uh, for the implementation of um, uh, CI or CD pipeline in the DevOps and the DevSecOps uh, project. Uh, in this uh, in this scenario, uh, with um, several uh, customers, we have implemented um, uh, interesting integration of AppScan source for automation. Uh, inside the organization of our customer uh, to support the developing team of the customer um, to automate the CI/CD pipeline and uh, an interesting integration that uh, we will see uh, today is um, uh, uh, between AppScan source for automation and Jenkins and uh, or GitLab um, as a, a CI platform and several um, uh, building Java tool such as um, uh, Gradle and uh, or, or uh, Madam. Yeah. As uh, we, I can share uh, with you some slide. Yeah, but let's that, wait that, before that before explain. just a second before the slide. Um, Fernando, yes. I guess you you're going to show us also the demo later. Um, yeah. From practice, and we're yes, just yeah. showing one scenario, right? You you can do it with other tools. Your you you will fit your services to the tools that the customers have. Yeah, um, we um, we have uh, two scenarios uh, in this demo. The first scenario, uh, we will scan simple application that do not contain vulnerability for uh, Ant uh, and Maven mm -hmm. uh, by downloading the source code from uh, GitLab. Uh, we will uh, compile and scan the code. Okay. The second scenario, uh, we will see the uh, publication of the Altero Grader application vulnerability on the AppScan Enterprise server. Uh, but uh, we'll not uh, scan the uh, for time for timing. Okay. Uh, we will uh, see the vulnerability detect uh, on the enterprise server. Sounds good. And, okay. and Pasquale, maybe can you characterize the typical customer that you see? Uh, in this situation? Yeah. Our typical customer uh, uh, generally as a um, the industry sector, uh, maybe back sector mm -hmm. that have um, uh, that are sensible up to the security aspect and the cyber security aspects. And uh, the customer that uh, adopt uh, AppScan source or are interested to the AppScan source uh, platform. That is very, very interesting for them, uh, especially uh, with the last version, 10 version. Cool. That are implementing several several new uh, functionality. And is it and mostly what? DevOps shops or people that try to do DevOps, or do you help also organizations that are not in DevOps yet? Yeah, yeah. So we we support the uh, organization, but we implement uh, ourselves the in, entire pipeline um, uh, about DevOps uh, implementation. Oh. Entirely. Okay. Support the uh, the IT uh, team uh, of the of the customer so, together, so working so. together. Sounds interesting. So maybe first you show us, we'll start with you, Pasquale, and you will show us the slides to explain. Yes, 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 yes. I share. Okay. I share. Yeah, we can see okay. your slide. 
Okay, okay. This is a scenario summarized from this slide. And we can see we have the GitLab platform where resides the source code, where the developing team deploy the source code. Uh, source code that um, may be uh, built from a Gradle, Maven, or Ant um, a tool. The Jenkins, the Jenkins platform that invoked the, uh, the GitLab, the, the source code, and invoked the, the, the scanning of the application by AppScan source CLI uh, command line, as uh, we can, um, uh, we, we will see uh, in the demo with Fernando. And uh, the last step is the publish of the assessments, of the, the publish of the results of the scanning process on the AppScan source enterprise, or um, alternatively on the PDF report or HTML report. Mm -hmm. the, the entire process is based on the um, um, uh, following elements. Uh, Jenkins as a CD platform, GitLab or GitHub as a CI platform, and in our case uh, is uh, the repository where resides the project code. And uh, a free, uh, several freestyle project Jenkins where to specify the source code that resides on the GitLab server, the step to compile the source code, and uh, then uh, the step to invoke AppScan source for automation. The execution of the process uh, uh, has the, um, the following steps and the download in the detail, more detail, uh, the download of the source code from GitLab in the Jenkins workspace area, uh, the compiling of the source code, the start of a, an AppScan source CLI session, the scan of the application from the AppScan source CLI, uh, CLI environment, and the publish of the results on the AppScan enterprise server or on the PDF report or HTML report. The prerequisites are, um, uh, requisites are, uh, Jenkins are the following. Jenkins server installed on the same app scan, installed under the same app scan source for automation, and Maven and Gradle tool available on the Jenkins server. Git installed on the Jenkins server and the token for connecting to a Pascal enterprise uh, on Jenkins server, obviously. And uh, the required version of the JDK installed um, on, JDK, uh, on Jenkins server, depending on the, the type of project uh, that um, we, uh, we must process. And um, fi uh, the last, uh, the operating system that may be uh, Red Hat or uh, Windows Server. In uh, our example, we use uh, uh, both. Uh, we have uh, Jenkins and AppScan, um, AppScan source um, on a Red Hat 7.6 uh, uh, version, uh, while AppScan um, Enterprise Server on uh, Windows Server 2016. Um, uh, that's all uh, as an uh, introduction. I give the floor to Fernando that uh, can uh, show us the, the demo, uh, the, the, uh, the three example on the um, in action. Sounds okay. good. Sounds good. Fernando, let's move to your side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Um, uh, this is, uh, is a, a Jenkins tool that uh, with little experience, uh, any person can configure and implement, monitor and schedule simple or complex uh, uh, process. Uh, we made uh, jobs uh, Jenkins and uh, in a different scenario. Uh, and uh, we scan it from uh, both Windows and Linux OS. Uh, well, uh, let's start by seeing uh, the first scenario. Uh, let's open uh, uh, the first job with uh, Ant project and analyze the content. Okay. Uh, this is, is a typical uh, job uh, Jenkins uh, and uh, uh, in the first step we configure uh, the connection and uh, the git uh, repository uh, and select uh, and select the, the desiderat branch uh, in this case is master branch uh, Jenkins will uh, automatically automatically uh, download the git source code in the, his workspace. Uh, in the next step, uh, we configure uh, the version of, of uh, Ant, 
this case and set uh, the command for compiling and creating a PAF and PPF file. Uh, in order uh, to create uh, the PIF and PPF file, uh, we have uh, modified the application build file uh, as it uh, is uh, necessary to refer uh, to uh, once and uh, in uh, a task depth activity. Um, the same is for uh, Maven, but uh, uh, we will uh, only need uh, uh, to execute uh, the once project uh, and the once application command uh, with the command line. Uh, mm -hmm. um, the next step uh, we have uh, uh, we execute um, a CLI uh, client. And uh, uh, we use uh, a script command with script file. Um, an example of the uh, script file is this. Uh, we have uh, in the first time the login file to session. Um, start to login on the AppScan Enterprise uh, and for uh, uh, with token uh, with token and. Um, the next, uh, we set the PIF file uh, generate from uh, the, the compiler and start with the scan uh, application. And we have a result file, the name, set mm -hmm. the name of the results file. Uh, in the end, uh, we have uh, three uh, possible uh, view. Uh, to uh, result. Uh, we have uh, uh, the first, uh, uh, the possible to uh, generate a report uh, in uh, uh, HTML uh, or PDF format uh, or uh, send all uh, uh, vulnerability assessment to the uh, AppScan enterprise. Uh, it's most important to set uh, the name uh, of the, uh, the application, uh, yeah. app, uh, the application, yeah, uh, the application uh, into the uh, enterprise server, and uh, uh, with uh, the option name uh, is uh, a name of uh, scan name, uh, the uh, the result um, after we see on the enterprise. Uh, now uh, we can try to compile this job. And basically, at this point, customers that you engage, if they are already doing DevOps, a lot of this yes. they already have. They have the Ant or Maven or Gradle. You're adding the source component. But if they don't have, you will help them set everything up, I guess. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Is, um, now we, uh, we see the uh, console up output of Jenkins and we have the several step uh, resume the log in several step uh, for uh, git uh, download the source code uh, start to compile uh, software source code and now start to uh, scan the application the app and completed. Now, <laughs> set, yeah, yeah. It's very simple app for timing. <laughs> yeah, a fast scan. Fast scan with no vulnerabilities. <laughs> it's uh, one file. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Finished with success. Yeah. Obviously, Aiden and the Jenkins button um, must be resides on the on the customer, and the customer, our typical customer, has a uh, user. Use uh, Jenkins um, uh, because uh, they uh, are our um, uh, developing team. We introduce the AppScan platform for integrate and for um, uh, a major effective of the uh, of the results of the, the added value of the pipeline the CI CD pipeline. The box, uh, okay. Um, the Maven uh, 
uh, app is uh, the same uh, configuration uh, we have uh, a repository GitLab, in this case credential, uh, set a branch and uh, create a build of, uh, uh, of project but in this case uh, we use uh, a command once project and once application for uh, generate uh, the uh, PIF yep. file, PPF file. Um, in uh, ant version, we have uh, we insert uh, uh, this record into the uh, build XML. Um, the last step is the same, uh, execute the CLI uh, with uh, script mode. Uh, uh, before uh, uh, the, the meeting, uh, we realize uh, another scanning with the uh, Altoro app uh, with, uh, with Gradle mm -hmm. and uh, we same, send uh, uh, all assessment on uh, enterprise server and uh, we have uh, the uh, we use uh, uh, this uh, script file this is uh, a uh, name of the scan and uh, we have uh, uh, the, we have a result into our scan enterprise server with uh, the name is yeah. the name of the scan is the same of the Okay, so thank you for that. It is very important for people that view this or for potential customers or customers if they need help and they live in Italy, um, <laughs> they can reach out to you. I'll include your link below. They are, they are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I will include your link below in the description so people can know how to reach out to you. Of course, um, you are invited to put comments in the video if you if you want more explanation on what you saw here or additional capabilities that uh, Pasquale or Fernando can offer to you. You're invited to challenge them, not just to do Jenkins. No yeah, we, <laughs> we, yeah it's, we, we wanted to show Jenkins because that's the most common, but it's not definitely not limited to Jenkins. So feel free to reach out. Thanks for joining. I'm sure we'll connect again in the future. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.